Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in, I hope you're all doing good. I'm going to be honest right, I just recorded a whole intro and then I realised I didn't actually turn the mic on. Genius. I'm going to be building up this Windspace SLC 2.0 road frame set. So I've taken my old SRAM ETAP disc group set off of my Specialized. I've given it a good deep clean. Look at this, let me show you actually. Look how good I've got this, look at that. I think I did pretty well, right? In the sink, scrubbing it with a toothbrush, not one that I use, an old toothbrush. So I've cleaned up all my old bits. I'm gonna get them all on this bike. I can't actually do the disc brakes myself. I don't have everything here to do them. And it's not something I'm great at setting up. So I'm gonna to pop to Dan's house and Dan's gonna help me set up all the hydraulic brakes. So I can get most of it done. So for now, I think it's gonna be like bottom bracket, like obviously seat post, seat. Headset, fork in, cut the fork down, nice and slammed, obviously. So I need to set up the wheels as well. I have got a set of Goodyear tyres for those. I did want tan wool, but they haven't arrived yet, so I'm gonna put some black ones on for now. I think that's pretty much it. We just need to, I just need to start putting the parts on the bike. I guess let's just crack on and start building this beast up. Proper excited. Bottom bracket all in, crank set. Right, wavy washer. Like, dry side or non dry side? What do you guys reckon? Bottom bracket, crank, whee! Look at that. Smooth. Fingers crossed there's no creaks. So, the joy with SRAM ETAB is a little touch of grease, and then honestly, it's just so easy to put on. So, I'm gonna get the rear mech on, the front mech, then I'm gonna get the front end done, have the fork, headset, and all that bit set up, get the bars on, cut down the steerer, and then I can do the wheels. So now, front end, I think. We need to get like the fork in there, the crown on the fork, all that stuff, and then I'll put the seat post and everything in next. So I've just cut down my steerer. I always get really paranoid doing it. How neat that is as well, by the way. Look, look. Sometimes my steerers are a bit wonky, but nobody sees them, so it doesn't really matter. Right, let's get these bars on. That's so clean, right? That's so nice and clean. I love it. Oh, I laid right on my toe. What do you think so far? I think it looks wicked. Carbon seat post, carbon frame, bit of carbon gripper stuff you know, and hopefully not get any on the brand new carpet. Oh, that smells lovely. All we've got left to do is we're gonna put the tires on these, um, put the cassette on. Should I show you the bar tape I've got? Actually, I'm not gonna show you the bar tape I've got. I said in the last vlog, I don't know if it's too much. So I guess we're gonna set these up tubeless really quickly. I'm probably gonna do it in the bathroom, just in case. And then we can put them on, chuck everything in the car, drive to Dan's house, and he can sort my brakes out. Should we weigh it, just for the hell of weighing it? Let's weigh it, 3.955. It's not bad, right? I mean, I've got no baseline, so genuinely no idea. Right, let's get the wheels set up, and then we can bash them on. I don't think they've got holes in them. I did find them in the garage, so there is a chance that one of them does actually have a hole in it. And also the tires that I ordered are actually uh, 28 mil, and apparently these wheels are optimized for 25 mil. And it just so happens the tires that I did find in my garage are a 25 mil tire. That was the most hassle-free setup. Well, it's always the most hassle-free setup. Like, tubeless is not the mission it used to be. It's actually just much better. Is it just me? Maybe I'm just getting better at um, 
do it again. But it feels like it's a lot less hassle. Where's my tool gone? Get the discs on. That's all done. I'm gonna say like a 25 mil, it, it just looks so skinny now <laughs> compared to like what I'm used to. I don't know if I'm feeling it, <laughs> but I'm gonna run it. It's, it's the optimal size, it's the only tire I've got, so you know, I might as well run it. So I'll get this on, I'll get the other tire on, and then, then we can head to Dan's and get the brakes set up. Oh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to do the gears with the bike, with the gears on the other bike. I mean, it's wireless, so technically I could tune my gears to this bike, even though the shifters are not on this bike. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but, but it's possible. So, so far, it's been a pretty hassle-free setup, right? I'd say like the biggest hassle, honestly, of setting up a new bike, is, is doing the hydraulics and doing the disc brakes and that sort of stuff, and I'm not actually doing that. So essentially, I'm just screwing some bits on. So, so it's very hassle-free for me, but I think Dan will be pleased at the cable routing in this bike that it's not an absolute nightmare to feed the cable through. So I'm gonna get this pumped up. I suppose we can chuck the chain on and see if that all like, everything lines up nicely. I'm loving it, looks well good. What do you think of that beauty? So I've actually got my specialised just down here. So I can change gears on this, look. And I can see if my front mech is in the right place. Right, let's chuck these in the car, go to Dan's, and I'll check in with you when I've got brakes. All right, so we're back, it's the next day. Thank you, Dan, so much for setting up my brakes. Look, check it out, I now have brakes. Woo, like, super awesome. My tyres are all set up tubeless and I'm ready to roll. I've got my gears all tuned and the only thing left to do is take these bars and then ready to go. Let me give you a little bit of a look and you can tell me what you think so far. So the only thing left to do now is put the bar tape on and I was a bit undecided on bar tape. I thought I might go black because well it's quite like simple and nice and it's a black and white bike so why not go black? But then I figured, so a lot of time when I'm riding, you guys have like a POV or you're like here on my stem. So you get to see my cockpit quite a lot, my cockpit. Um, and you spend a lot of time staring at it. So I figured, why not make it a bit prettier? Like why go boring black? And look what I've gone for. Look, I found this. So he's got these birds and then some flowers. So let's get these bars taped and then we can take it for a ride. Look at his belly. <laughs> Bar tape is on. <laughs> so much cat fur. Oh, I just hoovered as well. What do you guys reckon? Is it too much? I have a slight feeling. I don't know, I have a love-hate with it at the moment. Well, it will do for now, because it's all I've got. Bike's all done, gears are set up. Right, so I'll run you through just to build really quickly. Windspace SLC 2.0 frame set. Um, it's the disc one, and I have the size extra large. I have the bar and stem like combo, and actually what you can do is you can feed the cables through here so you can actually completely hide these two cables. We went with the outside cable set up for now, but I will actually probably book it into a bike shop and get them to hide my cables inside for that real clean, nice look. SRAM Red ETAP group set is the older one, so it's not the Axis one, it's the 11 speed. It's a fabric scoop with tie rails. It comes with a carbon seat post, Goodyear Eagle F1 tires set up tubeless, and a set of 38 mil deep hyper wheels, which have like flat bladed carbon spokes, they're carbon, they have ceramic bearings, pretty pimping, gonna be honest. We need to weigh this, definitely, definitely need to weigh this. So give me a second, I'm gonna grab my scales. 7.810. I'm using PowerTap pedals. I think these pedals are about seven or 800 grams. They're like really heavy compared to a standard set of just road pedals. If I got a power meter fitted to my crank, which weighs like literally 10 grams, and then I put a set of nice lightweight carbon like look pedals on, 
I'm mean, looking at saving like another like 500 grams. So I can probably get down like to the lower end of seven kilos, I think. And this is an extra large frame, by the way. So if you ride like a smaller frame set, like if you were to ride a medium, obviously you're saving quite a lot of weight already. Let me know what you think of this tape. I need your opinion. I, I can't decide. It's kind of growing on me, actually. What do you think of the build, guys? Oh, I, I love it. I think it's super awesome. I'm going to get changed. I'm going to take this out for a bit of a ride. Go and do a nice hill climb on it. And fingers crossed, I've actually tightened all the nuts and nothing falls off when I'm riding. Let me know what you think about the build, especially the bar tape down in the comments below. It's really sunny. I'm going to take this out for a ride. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.